Making business news in Africa this week, GlaxoSmithKline has announced its second major deal in less than a month with Africa's largest drug maker, Aspen Pharmacare. The new deal will also give Glaxo access to a range of Aspen's low-cost, unpatented drugs. Glaxo recently sold four of its medicines to Aspen in a $340 million deal. And Zimbabwe has issued a new $100 billion note. Officially, the note is worth five U.S. dollars, but it's fetching just over one U.S. dollar on the black market. The country's official inflation rate now stands at 2.2 million percent, the worst in the world. You're watching a special edition of Inside Africa from Accra, Ghana, site of this year's CNN Multi-Choice African Journalist Awards. Now, this year's ceremony was a gala affair held at Ghana State Banquet Hall. Here's a look at some of the evening's highlights. Welcome to the CNN Multi-Choice African Journalist 2008 Awards. The glitz, glamour, tears of joy. Maria, she has agency. But this is in Hollywood, this is Africa. And journalists and high-profile guests took center stage. The awards are in their 13th year and have gained prominence and prestige. The competition received more than 1,900 entries from a record 44 countries throughout the continent. I see the awards as a source of inspiration for journalists across the continent. They represent excellence and quality and recognition of that quality. What I've realized is the real difference that they make for journalists in Africa because it gives you something to aspire to. We've seen people come through the awards whose careers have improved simply because they've got that pat on the back from their colleagues. Journalists need to celebrate themselves, be celebrated, be encouraged, be supported. This is a difficult profession on a difficult continent. From a report on corruption in Namibia's diamond industry, this man, John Krobler, has been working for at least two years on a story that has all the makings of a soap opera and therefore an excellent yarn and therefore an automatic winner. I decided to make a film on the HIV AIDS situation in Zimbabwe. A compelling documentary on HIV AIDS in Zimbabwe to an unsafe bridge in Nigeria. Now the vibration gets intense each time a heavy-duty truck drives past. A heavy-duty truck or a lorry. As a matter of fact, two weeks after the story was broadcast, the Nigerian government awarded a contract to a company to a company to look into these maintenance problems. Therefore, it's a contribution to save lives. Sihum Tahai of Eritrea, who was jailed in 2001 for a critical article he wrote for Satit newspaper, was recognized for his contribution to the fight for press freedom on the continent. He is still in prison. We want Shaye to know that he is not forgotten. The finalists' work was varied and the judges' task tough. Not everyone walked away with an award and in the end, only one was named African Journalist of the Year. What set the winners apart from hundreds of entries? Up next, two of them tell us about the work behind the honour. <laughs> 